Hi everyone, it's Asha here, Lemon Creation. I have for you another beautiful set of watercolors from Paul Rubens and another abstract page. I am really lucky to be working with uh, Paul Rubens watercolors, uh, Yulan watercolors. And it's been, I don't know which one already of the uh, reviews I'm doing for them and they do not disappoint and each palette I get uh, it's better than the one before uh, which is super cool because that means that they are improving their products and this time I got uh, 48 colors, 48 watercolors uh, they are so beautiful, uh, they are already in the nice uh, box so with the palette you can wash and you can work on and those are the watercolors and uh, for me they look like, uh, you know, the small pieces of chocolate wrapped individually. Uh, I'm so happy when I am opening them always. And I got um, also this uh, swatch sheet. The only problem I have with the swatch uh, sheet is that it was bended. I guess it doesn't fit into the box and it was bended in the middle, which I didn't like that much. But uh, it's uh, it was printed also on this, you know, sparkly watercolor paper, so I'm really happy. So each box is individually wrapped and um, if you are watching <laughs> uh, this video, uh, I'm talking now to the Paul Rubens, it would be so cool if the names of the paints or at least the numbers were also printed on the small pants, that would be so cool. But I did, uh, while unwrapping every single pan, I was actually using my permanent pencil uh, or pen rather. And I was adding the numbers and the, um, and the name of the colors on the pans individually, just in case one of those days I'm going to by accident mix them up. But they are sitting so nicely in the case that uh, they will not fall. I actually had a problem to take them out when they were wrapped in the papers. Uh, but now they are sitting so nicely inside that uh, they won't move. But just, you know, a small suggestion that it would be so nice to actually have the uh, numbers printed out because I've noticed that with time, uh, the numbers uh, and the names I am adding on the pans uh, with the uh, permanent uh, pen, they usually uh, disappear after a while. And so look at that, guys. <laughs> The colors are just so cool and they have a silver and a gold one so 48 colors beautiful colors and uh, as you can see they are um, very pigmented uh, high transparency also they are super super rich and I've noticed that also because when I was reading the um, review for these paints I knew that they were saying that they are easy to mix and they don't give the muddy effect and it's true actually. Uh, they don't really give the muddy effect and so I was working a little bit on the side and here it is, I was mixing up the... Um, oh, I'm not sure I'm gonna tell you just in a second those two colors that would be Quinacridon Violet, I think, and Paints Grey. And here I was doing another one uh, of the mixing uh, abstract pieces just on the side, you know, just to calm me down a little bit out of the camera, although the first one I think I've done um, uh, with the camera also, but um, I like sometimes, you know, and uh, sometimes I like very much working off the camera because I think I am making uh, <laughs> nicer projects when I'm working off the camera. Uh, the camera stresses me so much. But as you can see, the colors are absolutely beautiful. I'm telling you guys, okay, I've made three paintings with them. All three I am so, so very happy with. So, you know, uh, we'll see over time. But theoretically, they are light, fast and permanent. So they should be, um, you know, after using different type of paints, different type of watercolors from Paul Rubens, I have no... Um, actually no doubt that what they say is true because I was never disappointed with them so uh, you know um, I don't think I'm gonna be disappointed over time with them uh, with this set also and today they work uh, like magic so I'm gonna do a little bit of abstract uh, with these paints today and I decided to go for circles it's been uh, some time <laughs> since I've done circles and I love doing them. 
but um, hmm, I'm not very good with uh, drawing circles just like that so I decided to take this uh, stencil type of thing and just go for it and of course uh, hmm, I didn't clean my uh, brush uh, too well after making uh, or doing swatches so here we go I'm adding a little bit of water but um, you know the water was kind of bluish and look at that guys the magic is happening um, I absolutely love adding um, water first on the paper and then adding the paints because they are just flowing so nicely you know with the water I love how the colors the water colors uh, how they are um, dispersing over the you know the place which is wet I also like to do very much um, wet on dry technique uh, but that I usually keep for the uh, cotton watercolor paper so I prefer on the cotton watercolor paper I somehow prefer um, in general it's not a, it's not a um, rule but uh, in general I prefer to keep the paper dry and just add water with the uh, you know with the paint uh, this time I didn't tell you I am working uh, I guess on the same paper um, and the Paul Robbins provided the swatch uh, list uh, on so this one is also Paul Robbins and uh, lately I work a lot with this paper and I'm starting to run out of the pages uh, I like it it's very nice as a watercolor paper, paper but I also like the fact that it actually has a shine to it it's a it's a sparkly watercolor paper and uh, I don't do all the uh, projects on this paper because sometimes uh, you know I don't want to sparkle but uh, this time I wanted because uh, first of all it's a uh, Paul Rubens paper so I say I, I said to myself if I'm doing a video with the review of their paints I'm gonna use their paper also but also uh, because I honestly like this paper it's a kind of I don't know it's unusual it's and it's very nice to work on and look at that guys it's just uh, the color are mixing really nice okay those two colors they will not get get you the the muddy color uh, but still they work nicely they mix nicely and every time I add a little bit of water I get this blooming effect um, so really nice um, really nice effect uh, really love working like that with the circles and uh, you can see now it's a little bit more dry and not completely and when the paint is not totally dry you can add a little bit of water to get more of this blooming effect which is super cool um, because that's what I like also about the watercolors that you can get so many nice effects with it all depends on the quantity of paint and water and the paper and you just can play so much with it and the effect is always um, something unexpected so my dear friends I'm gonna leave you um, quietly with the music in the background for a change and you can see the process if you like how the watercolors react with water it's so calming and so nice and okay do not judge me for uh, <laughs> trying to make a proper circle but uh, yeah it's uh, it's a nice thing to do and I love painting watercolors uh, even just because of that or because of the fact that they are just so quietly uh, mixing up with water and making such a nice effect so uh, see you somewhere at the end of this video and uh, I leave you quiet right now
So I'm back. I'm gonna give you, as always, list of all products used in this video in the description box below and um, also links to my shop and to uh, Paul Rubens uh, shop. Uh, you can buy Paul Rubens actually on Amazon, so you're gonna get links to Amazon. And, and as you've seen, I add a little bit of the gold touches, a little bit of kind of uh, ovals and circles um, made in black. Look at the black is so, so very opaque. And I add some embossing. I uh, add my stamp also, and that's it. I just wanted to to add a little bit of texture to the to the page to the project and here it is the finished one and it looks so nice with the golden accents and the sparkling page and that would be all from me for uh, in this video as always thank you so very much for leaving a comments um, for sharing this video for subscribing of course to my channel and visiting my shop and for the uh, Paul Robbins watercolors please check the link down below uh, you're gonna find the um, directions where you can buy them so that's it from me guys and i wish you as always beautiful beautiful day bye bye